alaikum student in this session we will discuss about pronouns and kinds of pronouns for pronouns the definition of pronoun is these are the word used in place of nouns these are the words that are used in place of nouns when we write two sentences about a same person, place, animal, or thing, we never use the name uh, in the other sentence as well. We don't mention the names uh, very often in a sentence if we write a two or three sentences about the same person, place, animal, or thing. For example, the examples of pronoun can be he, she, they, it, them, etc. For male, we use he. For female, we use she. For uh, animals, we use it. But uh, we also use pronouns in a singular or pro, uh, plural nouns. For singular, we use he and she. But for uh, plurals, we use they. For example, he is Basit. They are soldiers. It is a cat. For the kinds of pronouns, we have personal pronouns and possessive pronouns. Personal pronouns shows the, not the pronouns that can be used for ourselves. And possessive pronouns shows the, the relation of noun with the pronoun in a sentence. Okay now students, we are going to talk about the kinds of noun in a little bit detail. The first we have studied the relative pronouns. The relative pronouns, they appear in a complex sentence and to a noun, they, uh, they are the main clauses. The examples of relative pronoun is who, whoever, whom, whomever, which, whichever, that and whose. We are going to read about uh, the, these uses. Who and whomever, they describe the subject. Whom, whomever, they describe the object, but they refer to a person only. Which, whichever, they can describe the subject and object both. And they also describe the person. That. They also, uh, they also point out the subject and object in the sentence. Whose. Whose are the possessive pronouns. They show the, the ownership or relationship. So now for the examples of who, who uh, the, the prince was looking for the maiden who left the shoes in the ball. Whom, whom and whomever, I don't know whom he invited. And for which, whichever, this is the same story which you told me yesterday. For that, Alina wants to compose a song that shows her possession with the grammar. And for whose, whose shoes are these? Now we are going to talk about the reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns, uh, show, uh, reflexive pronouns are essential to the meaning of a sentence. They act as the object. They show the receiver of an, ab uh, of an action, follows a verb or preposition. For example, I completed the project myself and for uh, the subject which is uh, plural, we use ourself. The we have, uh, for the sentence, we have finished the project ourself. Now moving on to the emphasizing pronouns. The examples of emphasizing pronouns is also myself and ourselves. But em emphasizing pronouns are placed before the verbs in a sentence. They can be removed by changing the meaning of the sentence. For example, I have given the sentence for the reflective pronoun, I completed the project myself. So in the case of emphasizing pronouns, the example should be, I myself completed the project. Myself can be removed from the sentence without changing its meaning. Now moving on to the indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns, they refer to one or more specified persons, things or objects. They refer to people or things without saying exactly who they are in the sentence. For example, 
somebody something somebody uh, when uh, the when the uh, word body is used it is referring to a person and when uh, the uh, suffix thing is used it is referring to a thing for example somebody something somebody is doing their uh, is, is doing their work or something is placed under the chair Okay students, now we are going to see the details of the more kinds of pronouns. We have talked about the interrogative pronouns. I have told you that interrogative pronouns induce the questions in the sentences. They, are, uh, they refer to nouns we don't know. For example, who, whom, whose, what. Now we are going to see what are their individual uses. First the use of who. It is used when a pronoun is a subject. It refers to a person. For example, who did this? Now, the use of whom. It is used when a pronoun is an object. It refers to a person. For example, whom are you going to invite? Now, the use of whose. They shows possession or ownership. Refers to person. For example, Whose chocolate is this? Now the use of what? They can be used as subject and object both. Refer to a thing. For example, what is this? Now moving on to the demonstrative pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns, they identify specific nouns or pronouns and are used as subject as well as objects. For example, this, that, these, those for singular pronouns we use this that and for plural we use these and those for the things which are near we use this and these and for the things which are far above we use that and those now moving on to the next kind of pronoun they are personal pronouns personal pronouns they refer to a person and their example is i you he she and the personal pronouns can be classified as a first person, second person, and third person. The first person, is, the example for the first person is I. Because I, uh, I refer to the first person who is going to speak. Now, the second person refers to you. So it is the person that I am talking to. The third person is he or she or the person we are going to talk about, the two people which are going to talk about the third person. It is the third person. And for first person example, I have mentioned I, and for the plural, we use we. And for second person, you is used for both singular and plural. And for third person, he and she for a male or female, it for things, them for plurals, they or them. Okay students, so in today's session we have talked about the kinds of pronouns and a little bit detail of all the kinds of pronouns. We have studied the reflexive pronouns, the relative pronouns, the interrogative pronouns, the personal pronouns, the demonstrative pronouns, emphasizing pronouns, possessive pronouns, indefinite pronouns. In the reflexive pronouns we have talked about the the words which are not specific for the sentences. The related pronouns are the, are the pronouns which are used in complex sentences. The interrogative pronouns induces the questions in the sentences. The personal pronouns refers to the persons or animals itself. They identify the specific nouns or pronouns and are used as a subject and object as well. The emphasizing pronouns, they are important for the meaning of the sentences. The possessive pronouns shows the ownership. And the indefinite pronouns, they show two or more nouns. For, uh, in the words uh, which have suffixes like body, we, have, we use those for the persons. And if, if with the suffixes things, we use it for the things. So that's it for today. Stay tuned for us. In our next video, we are going to talk about the adjective. <laughs>